so I counted my books today. I have a lot of books. 285 books. Um, so I thought I'd talk about books, because they're like my favourite thing, so I thought I might as well talk about them. About a year ago, I did a Tumblr post on Kindles and how much I disliked them. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> now, I am going to justify this, because I am like a lot of people, I do prefer reading books. I do spend a majority of my money on books still. But this is good. For example, I am reading Pride and Prejudice as part of my schoolwork and it is so much easier to annotate and highlight using this rather than actually writing in the book because I don't like doing that anyway but it just it's easier so much easier I also read faster on this which is quite strange but it's true one of the reasons I bought this be was because I go on holiday quite a bit and I end up taking a bag full of books with me as well as all my other stuff and it can just end up getting a bit heavy and troublesome and there's not much space and just taking this is quite easy so I think this coming summer I will have all my books that I want on here rather than in book form it's upsetting <laughs> I think one of the reasons people dislike ebooks as a thing so much is because how, how can you avoid the joy of getting a book opening it and smelling it <sighs> or how with an electronic device can you have a book that has yellowed at the pages and is just old and red and so cherished and you can't with Kindles get anything that is like this um, but it was bought for Willie I can't really read the writing anyway yep Christmas 1921 so I believe that this is a first edition and it, it's a bit old how many, how many hands has this book passed? How many times has it been opened and enjoyed? And one of the most exciting things I believe about having books is communicating with the authors. This book is Arrow by RJ Anderson and I met her last year in February and it was amazing. And then of course there's books like this that has 150,000 copies signed by the author, causing him to have signing psychosis. <sighs> At this moment you'd expect me to start talking about The Fault in Our Stars and how much I loved it and all that but I'm not going to because I want to do a proper video on this I, I don't know and I, I can't talk about it yet I, I just oh, I want to reread it properly well not that I didn't read it properly first time but I read it in four hours and I want to be able to sit down and reread it and pick out my favourite parts and just this oh, I love this book